Hey, how's it going? I'm Chris with PearsonCopy.com, and I'm here to help your brand make more sales with email. Uh, as a part of a 100 emails in 100 day challenge, I'm going to be breaking down an email from um, a brand called Outer. Um, their website's liveouter.com, and I wanted to break down this email, this welcome email in particular, because of uh, two reasons. One, uh, it's a great welcome email. It covers a lot of the things that I've been talking about in my, my recent videos about how to make a personal connection with the subscriber as soon as they get their first email. And also, too, it feels warm, welcoming, and it's coming from an actual person as opposed to a brand. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that, that's the first reason, right? The second reason is going to be because how this email actually ended up in my inbox, um, I think, is really important to talk about, which I'll talk about a little bit later. It's about their uh, about Outer's form um, and what they do with that form to actually segment people before they even get an email. Um, and it's it's super uh, it's a brilliant way to actually segment people um, and, and to actually get them into products and potentially buying uh, within a couple hours of signing up and or days, depending on uh, that form. So um, I'll talk through that a little bit later, but I'll go ahead and dive in and see email. Let's break this down first so we can get to the specifics, uh, that form information later, and also some other insights on how I think um, Outer's actually doing an absolutely wonderful job with email. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, so this, this is a welcome email. Um, the subject line is welcome to your new home. Now, the reason this subject line says welcome to your new home and not something else, uh, it's very particular, it's very specific because on their form, on their website, if you go to liveouter.com, you can see that here. I don't know if you can see that if it's too small, but liveouter.com, uh, their pop-up form, um, actually, it does have an incentive. So it offers you, I believe, $100, $100 off your first purchase, um, but you have to spend a certain amount of money to get that, which, I mean, that's pretty common, right? It's an incentive. But what they do with that form is, one, they ask for your they, they ask for your information, like first name, email, but they also ask you one question. And the question is, why are you shopping today? Or why are you here today? And they have, they, um, <clears throat> They have a drop down um, that basically allows you to select to answer that question. I'm just browsing um, old old furniture needs replaced. I'm remodeling, redoing my outdoor space, or I'm I'm I just bought a new home. So there's four different options that they actually have the customer or sorry the subscriber choose before they sign up as part of the sign up process. Now what what's great about this and why why I'm mentioning this in particular before we dive totally into the email is that outer um, of the videos I've done so far they're the first brand to actually segment with their form um, and not segment in the back end based on behaviors with the first email. So they're segmenting uh, um, one step earlier. Um, and the, the unique thing here is because I selected, we just, um, I just bought a new home. Um, I got a welcome email that says, welcome to your new home, as opposed to something like I'm remodeling my home. Um, this subject line could be something different. Uh, like, Hey, here's, here's what you need after your remodel, or here's how to remodel your home to fit new furniture or something like that. Like welcome to your new remodeled home or something like that. Right. They can, um, uh, outer can send uh, specific welcome emails based on answering that question on the form, the, the subscriber answers a certain way, you can send one of four different emails based on what they answer. Um, this type of segmenting, tagging, however you want to call it, uh, to your list actually helps a ton because now what you do is you get you uh, with your list, you get specific on what are the pain points of the people that have answered in a certain way. So somebody that says, hey, we're, ju we're just bought a new home, we're about to move in, we're looking at furniture, etc." you're going to email them with different pain points, features, benefits, et cetera, different sales messages, uh, a different sales message than if they said we're remodeling our home or I'm just browsing or my old furniture needs replaced. Those are going to be totally different conversations. And essentially what Outer is doing is um, splintering off or breaking off into different channels or segments uh, for sales conversations. And uh, if you look at my next video after this one, I actually go through the follow-up email that comes after this welcome email about 20, 30 minutes later, and it's from an actual person. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's a sales rep um, and they're actually just kind of going through, hey, this is, hey, I'm, I'm so-and-so and this is, I'm here to help you find the right furniture for your new home. Um, so I'll talk about that later because that's not this email, but let's break this one down. That's why I thought talking about outer um, in this is uh, so, so beneficial um, is because they're doing something a little bit, they're doing something absolutely unique when it comes to segmenting and filtering their subscribers before they even get an email. Um, and their list is going to be segmented and broken out into groups that makes it much easier to deliver sales messages that are more personalized, uh, they're more specific, and they actually address the pain points the customer's having uh, way closer to home, right? you know, no pun intended, uh, with uh, with what they're actually going through before they buy the piece of furniture or the, the, the set that they're buying. So uh, with that being said, um, let's continue breaking down this email. Um, the first, obviously, subject line, but the next, this is something I'm absolutely pumped about, Terry from Outer. Um, it's actually, this email is actually positioned as from one of the founders, Terry. Uh, there is a second founder. Um, the, the firm email is hello at liveouter.com. So that's fine. I would, I would, I would, um, suggest, or maybe look at saying Terry at liveouter.com just to make this, just to close that loop of this is from Terry, one of the founders. Um, and this is coming from a specific person. Uh, the hello at still 
leaves this email on the fence of, is it the brand? Is it an automation? Is it, it puts that question in somebody's mind of, is this actually from Terry? So that's something <clears throat> that I think I would suggest, but otherwise I, I really, really like the idea of, uh, as this first email coming from somebody uh, in particular, as opposed to just the brand. Uh, when we move down here, um, the menu here, I actually like, um, and I'll, I'll explain here in a second why they have their simple, just their logo, um, their brand logo. Uh, the menu here, uh, if you if you think about it, somebody that just bought a new home and they're shopping for furniture and they're setting up scheduling dates, they're buying furniture, trying to get that delivered, et cetera, they're going to be looking at these types of items from the brand to prove that this is the furniture they should buy, right? So they're going to shop and look for furniture. They're going to look at reviews to say, hey, is this actually um, a quality, uh, quality brand, quality products, et cetera? Uh, they want to know what the experience is if they do buy, and then they want to know the story behind the brand so they can actually connect to it emotionally. So um, I'd imagine that if somebody would have selected just browsing, they would have gotten a welcome email that had a different menu at the top because they're further uh, further out from actually buying. Uh, they're less aware of the product. They're less aware of the problem. They're just kind of looking around. They're like, hey, this is a cool brand. It looks fun. I'm just going to look. But if somebody that just bought a home or they're remodeling their house, um, or even if they have to replace their old furniture, they're way closer to buying than somebody that's just browsing. So this menu up here, I'd imagine Outer's doing this, but they are um, setting up this menu and customizing it based on the buying stage of the customers in when they get this email, which if they did this intentionally, fantastic. If they didn't, I think this is a great uh, coincidence that they did, uh, but that's a, that's a great move when it comes to actually positioning this menu at the top. Um, that's one of the reasons why I like this one here as opposed to removing it and getting right to the message. Um, <clears throat> next section. So this is Welcome to Outer um, as a little housewarming gift. So they're customizing the copy for Welcome to Your Home, right? So the, the theme or the angle of this is you just got bought a new home or you just moved in. Uh, well, here's a little housewarming gift. We're offering you a $100 discount and free shipping on your first purchase with the code WELCOME100. Um, so two things. One, it's a language about the actual angle and concept of getting into a new home or buying a new home. And then second, uh, WELCOME100. That is a code that they've set up in the back end that I'd imagine anybody can use, but they can only get it if they get this email. Um, and that code is uh, limited one per email or one per subscriber. So it's super simple. It's easy to remember, easy to use. It's not a string of characters that somebody's gonna have to copy and paste or remember. Uh, very, very little friction to actually using that code. Uh, one final thing here is a hundred dollar discount and free shipping. Uh, this stuff, the, the free shipping is is becoming pretty commonplace when it comes when it comes to brands. They either do free shipping and tack on the and add that to the price of the product, or they they don't do free shipping and the customer pays for that anyway. Uh, but adding that next to the hundred dollar discount, hundred dollars off. That's a that's a pretty big discount. That's one of the bigger discounts I've seen. There are other brands that are do hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars off, but their products are premium. They are luxury and they do cost more. But the hundred dollars off with the free shipping as a housewarming gift. It makes you feel warm as a customer. It makes you feel like, yeah, I did just buy a house. This is awesome. This brand doesn't even know who I am. And they're already giving me stuff. This is wonderful. So I think Outer does a great job. One, saying, hey, this is why you're here. Here's the code. Two, this is how, this is how we're going to present the code. And this is this is how we're going to connect because we're like, hey, it's a housewarming gift. We know you just moved in. Here's here's how you get our stuff. Here's the code to get it. And then three, it makes it, it, makes it feel like it's from Terry. It's from one of the founders, right? Um, so yeah, with that being said, the next sequence here, the next piece of the puzzle in the sequence is now that you have the code, what do you do? Go explore the collections, right? So their sequence of things here is like, well, I'm in your home. Oh, cool. They, they're welcome. To how they know I moved in? Like somebody may have forgot the answer to that question at the, in the form, but when they see that, say, yeah, I did just move into a home. So it's like warm, fuzzy feelings or whatever the, the, the strong emotional feelings that people have when they move into a house or they just got a new one. Or let's say they just closed on a house and now they're looking for furniture. Um, that's, a, that's a big deal. Uh, your next thing obviously is your menu and just where they're at in the buying stage. Here's the code and, and why they got this email. And then finally, um, when it comes to the sequence, Hey, go explore our collections, go shop around. Um, so you can use the code. Um, so yeah, the one, two, three here is fantastic when it comes to the sequence and the order of these. Um, something that I, that I like once this, um, once this last image here is, uh, once they scroll, once the, the subscriber scrolls past it, something I like here um, is that it jumps into introducing Terry, uh, the 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 person that's actually quote unquote sending this email. Um, I do still think this is an automation, obviously, because it has a hello at, and also it's an automation, so Terry's not sending these individually, right? So, but we want it to feel like it's from a real person. Uh, before I move on too far, too too much further, I really like the class and the elegance of this design. Uh, it's very simple, it's very clean, and it's very straightforward. I love the font and I love the colors and how they're actually presenting their products. Unfortunately, PDF cut this off, um, but uh, when it comes to this graphic, I, I think it's a great it's a great move when it comes to brand. Um, but yeah, back to the next piece. Um, something with well, the introduction, but um, they actually put the tea sofa, tea coffee table. They put the item names here in the actual image. Um, I'd imagine I can't click this image. I'd imagine this takes it to the website to one of these or all these products as a bundle. Um, that's something you could potentially do. It probably just says explore collections, which this is a collection that you could buy. Um, I'd imagine that's what the link is for. Um, cool. So moving on. 
uh, getting to the introduction. So one, this is an introduction section. So this is Terry. This is this is the person who sent the email. Um, Terry uh, Terry here, co-founder of Outer. Um, my my co-founder. Um, I, I apologize if I pronounce this, this incorrectly, but Giac uh, and I started this company uh, with a mission to bring more of life outside. We design comfortable, stylish, and innovative outdoor furniture to help you make the most of the outdoor space in your new home. So this is like a mission statement, right? This is like the reason why the brand exists and why Terry and his co-founder actually started the brand and started selling. Um, this is great. Um, there's three pieces here, right? Uh, one is the image. So this is a picture of Terry. So you get a face to the name, right? So it actually feels personal. It feels like it's from a real person. Um, he explains him and his co-founder's mission as a company. And then the third piece here, which I absolutely love and they go into later down here, is this is the mechanism of the solution. So there's a problem um, when it comes to outdoor furniture that Terry and his co-founder um, at the brand solved and that they're using this mechanism, the outer, the, the, the patent outer shell. Um, and this, this right here is a mechanism to the solution. And what that means is this is, there's a problem uh, that the customers have with out, outdoor furniture. The solution is X, Y, or Z. And because of this, the solution, the mechanism is how it works, right? Or, or what, what does the solution actually deliver? Or how does it actually deliver it? And uh, um, outer's uh, shell, right? their outer shell is a mechanism to that solution. And um, I think the sequence of this is brilliant because you go from, hey, here's your code. Here's here's where to go shop our collections. If you're still not sure and you're, you're scrolling, hey, I'm Terry. I just want to let you know this is who I am. This is our founder. This is our mission. By the way, if you're looking for an outdoor piece of furniture, one of the objections is, well, will it last long? What about the weather? What about the elements, uh, the wear and tear? Uh, the, this is a luxury item. I'm paying quite a bit for it. Is it actually going to last? Can I leave it outside? Do I have to put it in? This, that, and the other. How do I wash it? How do I clean it? There's various objections about the care and take and keeping uh, this piece of furniture quality. The outer patent shell or the patent's outer shell actually addresses those objections uh, as a whole. Um, and that's that's the sequence, right? Like, hey, here's the code. Here's what a shop. I'm Terry. Um, here's the mechanism that's actually that that what that is what makes our product different or great or or stands out in the, in the marketplace or the reason why you should buy it, right? Um, and then this is actually a GIF, um, and it actually goes through the process of the outer shell mechanism being applied and removed from this uh, set. So I think uh, that in general is like here's the mechanism, here's how it functions, right? Here's here's what it is and how it works. And then it, it, um, the email goes on to to talk about the built-in protection and what it does to actually protect um, the furniture. And I think this is a great move because people are wondering, hey, th those big objections I mentioned, they want to know, they want to see it, right? So this is a demonstration of the product. This is the name of the mechanism, right? Name of the mechanism is the patent outer shell. This is the demonstration of the product. This is how it actually works and what it does for you, right? And so they talk about that and they explain it and they cover uh, the features and benefits, the main feature and benefit of this actual mechanism. Um, and then it says shop, 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 sofas, and chairs. So something that's interesting here is once they get through the mechanism and they, and they, the, the explanation of it, um, the CT actually gets more specific to individual items like sofas and chairs. So I think that's interesting because here we're shopping collections. So if you're like doing a whole outdoor set, start here, this is like the big purchase on the hundred dollars. This, this is the quickest way you can get to the hundred dollar discount. Cause you have to spend a certain amount of money to get that discount. Um, here it's so shop sofas and chairs because the outer shell actually applies to these individual pieces. So maybe you're doing a collection, but you just want one piece. This is the next the next uh, logical thing for the customer to go through. Um, and then as we're moving down here, the final piece, which I think one, I think is a great move uh, in general uh, because it's the next next objection of like, hey, I do want outdoor furniture. I believe in the mechanism. I really want I really want this, but I don't know which pieces or which collection to buy. I don't know how to measure it. I don't know how to do my outdoor space. I don't know what size will fit in my outdoor space. So it's more of like a function. Uh, function objection is like, I don't know how to actually choose the right stuff for my space. So what's interesting here is Terry and his co-founder and outer, what they do is they actually offer complimentary design consultation. So, you know, he's, he's addressed basically two different objections. One, here's the mechanism to the solution that's going to solve the problem of the outdoor furniture that a lot of people are concerned with is, you know, quality and uh, uh, it lasting long enough, right outside. And then two, um, I'm not sure how it's going to fit in my outdoor space. I don't know how to measure it. I don't know how to put together what I need for my outdoor space. And so Terry and the brand actually offers complimentary design consultation, which is a great freaking move. It, it addresses the big second objection uh, when it comes to actually selling this product. So I think this is a fantastic move. The one thing I would say here is potentially if somebody potentially put this consultation piece in a second email. But when I show you the next video um, that I'm going to do after this one, that actually talks about the second email that comes after this first welcome email about 20, 30 minutes later, the consultation makes sense in this first email. Uh, it makes sense to remove the friction and remove the objections to get people to actually shop and actually buy and or book an appointment with a consult, right? With a consultation, uh, with a, with a design consultation, right? So 
there's some various things here that are working when it comes to strategy. The tactics are presented here in the email, but the strategy is we want to get somebody into purchasing a piece of furniture as soon as they sign up, as soon as possible. Um, and we're going to remove all the barriers or the big, at least the big two or three barriers that people have uh, to actually doing that. So if somebody's ready to buy and there's barriers or objections, we have to address those immediately up front and get them out of the way so that people actually hit the buy button and or book an appointment to address the big objection, which is, is this going to fit in my space? How do I measure it? How do I do it? Um, and then, with that being said, I think initially this this welcome email is brilliant. Um, and like I said, I'll talk about the other email uh, here in a different video. But moving on down, book the appointment. That goes to a book an appointment page. And then here are the terms of the coupon code, which um, the, the welcome owner is only valid on purchase over 2300 um, And I think that's why the first CTA here is Explore Collections, because a collection is going to be more than 2300 I'd imagine it is. And that's why they move. They, they try to get the customer to go from the $100, $100 discount to the collection because that's the easiest way to get to this code or to use this code. Uh, when it comes to sofas and chairs, this is like a secondary software uh, CTA to say, hey, if you buy a couple of sofas and chairs, you can get to that, that amount. Um, and then this is just a very straightforward. Uh, and this is the other thing, too, about this. It's very straightforward. It's up front. It's, it's out in the open. It's not hidden in the footer. It's not hidden away or trying to be like uh, blurred out or a couple shades off the background color so you can't see it. It's very out in the open and they're very transparent about this, um, which I, I think is great. The more open and transparent you are with customers, the more they're going to respect you. Even if they don't like you, they're going to say, okay, these people are actually telling the truth. They're being honest, right? They respect you for it. So I think this is a good move. Um, and then finally, the last couple pieces in the footer. Uh, one, they uh, Terry in the, in the brand um make uh put the one percent for the planet um and make that stand out they also have a badge down here but they make this a point to say hey one percent of every um outer sale supports the planet um and that's something I, that's a great initiative and a great cause i think um, that the brand can connect with with people on various levels um and then finally the footer information so one percent of the planet we just talked about and then climate neutral certified so this is a this is a big thing that's going around now it's a big issue um and they're just showing their support and their effort to um stay climate neutral certified. Um, and then obviously you have your standard uh, uh, footer information. Um, I'd even say with the socials, you don't you don't need them in this email. I don't think people are going to be going to social in this sense. Uh, they're going to be going through this uh, very well structured, very well sequenced uh, sales message in this email uh, to either buy something, um, uh, spend their code to buy something or book a consultation uh, when it comes to design. Um, but also 20, 30 minutes after this email, I got a second email from an actual person, plain text. And I'm going to go through that, that in my next video. So look for that on my YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, I think the way they set this up with the strategy, this is a brilliant, brilliant way to do this. Uh, Terry and the team over there um, have done a great job here. So two uh, or three things to remember here. One, the form that got me, oops, the form that got me into this email um, actually filtered me. It, it segmented me based on one question. Uh, why are you buying today? Essentially, right? Um, and those four options that I had to choose from, I chose uh, just bought a new home or just moved into a new home. So this welcome email comes with welcome to your new home. I'd imagine the other three options have uh, welcome emails that are similar, but the copy in them is customized or personalized to the option or the answer I gave. So that's the first thing. That's a great way to segment um, and uh, build different lists or different segments of your list before they even get the first email. Um, and it's a great way to customize your uh, welcome flow or welcome series based on that segmentation. Uh, the second thing is this email is actually, uh, they, they present it as from Terry which I think is a great thing to do when it comes to brands is make it feel like it's from a real person. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be like only Terry sends an emails. The other, the other founder could send emails. They may have a technician or some kind of consultation uh, um, expert that, that emails later, things like that. But what, what, what I'm getting at here is this actually feels like it's from Terry and it feels like it's from a real person. So that's number two, the more, the closer and closer you can get to it feeling like a real person. Uh, typically in most cases, the more engagement or clicks, more sales you're going to get. Um, and the final thing, um, this email is clean. It's very, very clean. It's very well organized. It doesn't try to do too much and it presents the information and the sales message um, to the customer in a very clean, uh, straightforward, clear way. There's not a lot of antics here. There's not a lot of cleverness. It's really just straightforward of like, hey, we know you're here. You've segmented. We're sending you a custom email based on that segmentation and this is what we have to offer you. So with that being said, um, we're coming up on 20 minutes here, but I hope that helps you out. I hope you can take some insights away from this email uh, breakdown so you can take that back to your brand and make more sales with email. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do a second video on Outer with their follow-up email after this one. So go check that out on my YouTube channel. If you want to see my other email, Email breakdowns. I'm doing 100 emails in 100 days as a challenge. Uh, go check out my YouTube channel and, and look through those and see if you can find some more insights. Um, other than that, I hope this helped and thanks for watching.